Today, little Abby is as happy as can be 48 hours after being buried deep under debris just like this. We found Abby shortly after the tornado and she stayed with us as we worked. The next day, still no luck finding an owner, so we used the power of TV. One of them I saw a dachshund that I took in. Her name is Abby. I'm still trying to find her owner. Minutes later on Twitter, we learned Abby's owner, Pam, was awaiting surgery at Integra Southwest. So we stopped by with a special surprise. Pam! Hi, sweetie. I was so afraid. Okay, honey. Okay. All right, mom's home. It's okay. Pam's son, Aaron, says Abby has been his mom's third child ever since he graduated high school, which is why he is so thankful Integris allowed this reunion. Honestly, I think seeing Abby is you know, better than any medicine that they could give her, seriously. <laughs> Pam held Abby to protect her while Pam's arm was pinned and smashed under a heavy door. I held her so she can breathe the air up at the top. And then I just screamed, basically. But I honestly didn't think I would get out of this. So I'm so lucky. Abby was lost in the chaos of disaster rescue and triage. That's when she found News 9. Somebody took her home yeah. and took care of her. This guy right here. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that's so wonderful. Was she good for you? Yeah, she was good. <laughs> she, she, uh, she spent the night under my bed at first because she wasn't sure, oh. but the next morning she, she warmed up to me. Oh, so. that's wonderful. Look at that. I, I never <laughs> thought I'd see her again. I was praying. I, I said, Junior will be okay. It'll be okay. And I was praying, and the house went together, vacuumed in, and then blew out. And I don't think I can figure out is I went upside down holding on to him, and he was no more. So he was just sucked out of your arm? Right. I never felt him leave my arms. I never felt nothing. All I know, I was over him like this, and the next thing I know, I'm upside down, and he's nowhere to be found. Jerry was thrown to the ground about 20 feet from his home. And for five minutes, that tornado was over me going counterclockwise. I was, it was literally setting over me. Jerry got the call Friday morning and rushed right over. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, Junior. <laughs> Look there, there's Daddy. Hey. Hey. He had, his, he had his snap for a minute. See, I've been through it, Daddy. Oh, you're going to have to have a bath. What happened? Did you fly through the air? Finally, the dog ripped from his arms was back in them. Come here, baby. Come here. Look what daddy's got. Jerry isn't sure where the storm took Junior, but he wants his pup to know he's sorry. Nothing I could do, baby. It jerked you out of my arms. I think he flew through the air. Mm -hmm. You know, dogs weren't meant to fly, but uh, I bet he had an angel with him. Junior was a bit banged up from it all. He has a few cuts and bruises, just like Jerry, who has a broken foot, a bruised skull, and a face fit for a boxer. You got scratched up too, huh? Daddy got scratched up too, yes. You okay? But none of that matters now. We, we're back together. We're back together. It's okay now. It's okay now. A family cat belonging to Sarah's mother. Oh, you just found her? Yeah, I just found her in a closet. That's my mom's cat. Come here, baby. Oh, they have no idea that she's... She's alive. Sarah's father called up her mother to let her know the good news. Yeah, she's fine. Not a scratch on her. We lost one of our dogs. I had him in my hands, and right before the tornado hit the house, he slipped out of my hands. Um, I'm sorry. And we haven't been able to find him, so I can only assume the worst. Daisy? <whistles> Here, pup. Daisy? Daisy? Tractor made it. <laughs> the tractor is totally fine. Uh, Izzy's here. Izzy. Izzy. Izzy, come oh here, baby. God. Oh my God. Izzy. Oh my God. Hey, baby. These are the frantic moments. It's coming right over it. We're right in its path. Roxy. It is Roxy. Thank you very much. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Bless her little heart. She survived, who knows how, with only a small scratch on her leg. What do you think of finding your dog? 
awesome. You didn't think you were going to see Roxy again, did you? No. no. And when you found out she was okay? I was very happy. I started dancing. <laughs> the happy dance? Yes. They might not have a place to call home, but they've got each other and Roxy too. Oh, what a, an amazing rescue captured on cell phone video there. This happened after tornadoes tore through Rowlett, Texas, that's near Dallas. You can see Michael Delgado pull one of his two dogs out from the rubble. The tornadoes destroyed Delgado's home, but his dogs managed to survive after being trapped in debris for two days. Such a sweet sight. I just wanted to kiss her face. After three days, they started to fear the worst for the little dog, but then came the call from Animal Control that a dog matching Skip's description had been found. After the scary ordeal, the two pals were together again. The emotional moment captured on camera. Uh, we walked in and we saw Skip, and you know, if you can see from the video, he just started crying. I mean, we had just spent a lot of time praying, um, just asking the Lord to help us find him, and um, it was just extremely fulfilling. Skip was shaken up and tired, but he didn't shy away from hugs and kisses. Believe it or not. Look at him! Yeah. Our whole house is gone. There ain't one wall standing, but the family made it out. And uh, I just, I can't believe my dog found my dog. I can't believe it. But our family's complete, yeah. So I'm just really thankful for that. Storm was so violent, you know, and just the roof got blown up, half the house, and, you know, back half the house, just nothing there but the floor, you know, almost. I thought I was dead, you know, and then. I thought, well, like one beagle I have, I have two beagles I got, Mitzi and Maxie. And Maxie, you know, I, I, you know, I, 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 I thought for sure she was crushed in the bedroom. You know, I can't believe, you know, that, that I walked out of there. I can't believe all these dogs, you know, buried in the rubble got out of there. I don't know. It's a gift. So I was about 10 minutes out, and when I come down this road here, and trees is all over the road, and I looked at my house, I saw it, and oh my God. And automatically I started looking for Coco. And I looked at all the debris and looking under stuff, trying to find him. I couldn't find him. It scared me. I mean, you know, it scared me because I, I thought I'd lost my dog. The back of the house was a, a bay window. And so I crawled through it and kept calling for Coco. And I went in the house, and there he sat in the hallway in the middle of the house like he was a human. He knew right where to go or something, you know. But it blew him through the window. He got some cuts and stuff on his nose. And I lost my house, but I found my dog. You just can't replace a dog. Make sure that your animals have their ID tags on them and a harness on them. And always keep a current photo of your dog or cat at all times. So if something like this happens, you can find your dog.
One month ago, a giant deadly tornado cut a path through more Oklahoma. Ever since, the people of that Oklahoma City suburb have been cleaning up and trying to look ahead. Mark Strassman returned to Moore to visit one survivor, and her story has become a symbol of a city that won't stay down. It is unbelievable how we come out of this. Barbara Garcia told us she was finally ready to see it. Her home for 45 years was flattened in seconds. A day or two afterwards, I don't think I could have come. I, I really don't. But... Uh, look at this neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, 45 years. I had gone over there, I don't know how many times, you know, to call him, and, and he never did answer. And I, I knew within reason he had to be gone. But against all odds, Bowser was still here. Oh, oh, oh. If ever there was a divine intervention, it was for me and Bowser to come out of that. Your house had fallen down, but the house meant much less to you than Bowser. I'll take that. Every time? Every time. That CBS This Morning video oh. went viral. More than four million people have seen it online. He's truly a celebrity, but it hasn't changed him, not one bit. Hasn't gone to his head, huh? No, hasn't gone to his head. Many viewers touched by their reunion have donated to a fund to build them a new home. She had no insurance. Even though I've lost, I have gained so much. This has shown me how many good, good people are out there. I can see myself planting rose bushes, and they were blooming so pretty. Garcia and Bowser have been staying with friends. When she rebuilds, it'll be in more here on the same lot.